6 15 23 1 a.m to 2 30 a.m and it's called obedience you already holy 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 okay so the first one obedience to see with supernatural eyes and dance no one in julie's team exemplifies the ability to listen and move with me better than elaine he is in the habit of bringing me all of his cares and listening to me i speak my words to him and explain mysteries of my word and plans i often press him with words to share that are mine but they are for another I confirm, prepare, and guide others with his flexibility to share my words with them. I have requested much from him, and he follows my lead with impressive tempo. His delight is to hear me. At every turn, which does not matter the things I ask, he boldly follows. He leads his family based on how I guide. His faithfulness and ability to know what I say and obey is of high value. I can trust that regardless of what I say, it will be done. He walks this earth with kindness and compassion and boldness from me. I have blessed him with provisions with or without a worldly source of income. I have blessed him with the ability to have ease of days while having plenty at the source of his work of his hand. And I have blessed him with having plenty without a traditional income when I so led him to do this. I have led him to follow me in extreme faith, no matter how logical or illogical it has seemed. He always follows. This obedience is at levels most could not comply with. Why? Because I need to train him to be fully dependent that I care for his every need. And I can do more than he can ask or imagine. His unwavering obedience has made him exemplary in my eyes. Elaine will do many missions for me. He is anointed. Elaine is what I request of mine to do. Listen and modify their daily life in any way I ask. While simultaneously staying focused on me to hear me. Elaine is good with people. A blessing to many. But when I told him to draw back to be with me exclusively, he did this without question. When I asked him to humble himself before others, he, had, he has done this time and time again. When I press him to plant seeds on my behalf, he does this with great skill and grace. I can count on Elaine. It is my delight to talk with him. His faith and obedience make him worthy to properly hear. His holy and gracious nature make him worthy to lead. Why do I tell you this? Elaine has mastered hearing me and moving with my spirit. He is what I desire of all my own. Rarely does a person achieve the intimacy with me that he has, but this is what I desire from all. Elaine will be used in a mighty way for me. Why? Because I can count on him. He faithfully sets time aside just to meet with me. He leads his family as I have set up in scripture. In your age, he is a rare man and one of the best family leaders. The family unit is to function well by the husband and father focusing on me and leading through my wisdom. In the age in which you live, many women have taken this role or no one takes this role. Many men do not seek me first. They seek career, pleasure, and the things of this world which distract. But I, the Lord God, if I am on the list at all, I am not a high priority on their list. I set Elaine before you as an example of how to keep me as a priority to lead others. Elaine could not be as effective as the spiritual leader and provider of the family if his wife, Jamie, was not as biblically submissive and flexible as she is. She has loved me for a lifetime. She has wisdom beyond her years. She could easily try to usurp the family structure I have set in place and try to lead, but she obeys me. She hears my voice and she does as I ask in full faith. By stepping back, she has allowed her husband to lead and lead with excellence. I can trust them both because even when the culture and those around them pressure them to live differently, they keep my family structure. I bless this. Because they obey me, 
They will hold prominent leadership roles in my kingdom. I will work mighty works through them for the kingdom. I have walked them through insurmountable difficulties that the enemy has thrown at them. Because they follow my lead, they come through them with ease because of their willingness to listen and obey me. Soon they will be here at Gaboa. I will have them train as a family and bless them with the joy of working together in special missions. Because of their obedience and faithfulness, their son is being raised in my word and on my path. He is a rare child filled with passion for me. Why? How? Because I have a plan. When the fathers come to me and lead up their young as a living example of holiness to them, it inspires their sons to follow in these footsteps. He is a rare child in this generation. He has a passion for me. At a young age, I began to speak with him and he was taught by his father to write down my words. I tell him things that are to come and I send encouragement through him. As a child that has me as his focal point, he devours my word. I bless this by making it easier and easier to recall. He will be an effective missionary with more knowledge and wisdom than many twice his age. This goes back to Elaine. By leading his household in my way, and it goes back to his mother, Jamie, by imparting her love for my word to him. The family unit that I designed is supposed to look like this. It's designed to create children that have a passion to know me. Their collective obedience and deep connection with me is very rare. They will be set to lead others. I know I can faithfully set upon them high important missions. They will bring key people to me. The success of this family is because of the initial ability to set aside all for me by their leader, Elaine. This is not different than what I am looking for in those that I will use to soon work my miracles. I am looking for those who step away from the culture and want me as their highest priority, ones who take time to hear my voice and then obey it. Those that keep tempo with the Holy Spirit. Why? Because these will lead and leaders must have mastery over listening and obeying in order to lead well, in order to bring those in their care to me, in order to show the world my ways. Some of you are women. You have husbands that have not lived like this example. That is between them and me. You are to live as I call you. If you are called to fill the gap, then do it without guilt. Perhaps you are called to lead. Do so with humility and kindness. Do not follow the women of the world with disrespect and aggression. Perhaps you are single or live under another's roof. Being fully submissive to me and obeying with humility and grace is what I require. I will gently use you to lead from within or surround you with those to lead. If you can listen and obey me effectively, then prepare to be used. I do not hold up a lane as an expectation that only men can lead. No, I hold up a lane as an example of one who follows my instruction. And because of this, he is legitimate in my eyes to be able to lead well. For this, he and all like him will be used in a mighty way. I call to all those who will hear my voice and keep in step with the spirit you will be my willing vessels i will show the world wonders through my willing vessels by listening and following my lead it assures blessings will fall upon you however those who are blessed by me are also those that are fiercely attacked by the enemy all of those who wish to be used and will be used as my willing vessels must stay in fight mode always keep their spiritual armor on always assessing the spiritual situation, always walking in prayer for the spiritual warfare that rages about. Those that walk with me will be coached through this. This is not to be attempted in your own power. No one walks alone. Come to me in full faith. Read my words, hear my words, be moved by my Holy Spirit. Be guided through your daily tasks 
and challenges by me and my ways, the God of the universe. Call on my son Jesus. There is power in his name. I have all the tools for your success. Come and take part. Come to me. Learn to hear me. Learn to obey me. You will be blessed beyond measure. God. The second one. Some of you are just as Elaine. You already hear my voice. You already dance with the spirit and move when he says move. This is excellent and to be praised. You know me. You affect those around you for me. You are guided by my wisdom for your life. Your continued growth and pliability to be changed by me are of high esteem. All of heaven rejoices for all mine who are like Elaine. You are few in your generation. You know, you see the difference in how others live. Stay steadfast in me. My return grows near. I see your faith in me and my father. Your blessings to come are around the corner. Pray for those that need to take steps to come closer to me, to hear and to dance. I know you. Some will come with the anointed. Others will stay to lead those who do not hear my voice well enough to walk in the spirit. You will help bring them to me in a closer way. I love and marvel at your strength in these times. Your patient endurance is to be praised. I love you and long to see you, Jesus. And then the third one. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty who was and is and is to come. The family of God is about to be united. Young, old, rich, poor. The great harvests are about to come in, bringing in all the lost sheep. Rejoice, be flexible. Man's wisdom is not able to understand all that is to come. I have given you a guide through my own and through my word. As things unfold, rest in me. Call on my son, Jesus. Proclaim, Jesus is the one and only Messiah. Do not concern yourself with the what, why, how, and when. Concern yourself with my word. Concern yourself with listening to me. Concern yourself with obeying me. Concern yourself with staying available for me. I will protect and provide for my own family, just as Elaine does, with grace, patience, and mercy, with training, example, and kindness. But above any man, I will also provide with miracles, protections, supernatural power. Be prepared to see my wonders, church. Now is the time to seek me with your full heart. Change is but moments away. God. And that's it, and I'll see you next time.